Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to give a direct proof using the definition of Cauchy sequence to prove that the sequence 1 over n is in fact a Cauchy sequence of real numbers. So, proof. So first recall what it means for a sequence to be Cauchy. So recall that the sequence x sub n is said to be a Cauchy sequence. It is Cauchy if its terms get infinitely closer together. So as the terms go on, the terms get closer and closer together. So if for all epsilon greater than zero, we can find some positive integer, which we'll call capital N, such that for all little n and little m bigger than capital N, the distance between the terms gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It can be made infinitely small. That's the idea behind a Cauchy sequence. Okay, so we have to prove that this sequence here is Cauchy. So before we prove it, I'm going to do the scratch work uh, over here on the side. So basically, given an epsilon greater than 0, we want the distance between 1 over n and 1 over m to be small. We want this to be less than epsilon. Well, what we can do is we can use the triangle inequality here. right? This is less than or equal to you can think of this as plus negative. So this is less than or equal to the absolute value of 1 over n plus the absolute value of negative 1 over m. Everything here is positive, the n's and m's, so this is the same as 1 over n plus 1 over m. And we want this to be less than epsilon. That's the goal. So if we can make each of these less than epsilon over 2, then we're good. So let's write that down. 1 over n is less than epsilon over 2. That's going to be true. Let's see. We can multiply by 2 and multiply by n. So cross multiply. That'll be true when n is bigger than 2 over epsilon. So if little n is bigger than 2 over epsilon, this will be less than epsilon over 2. So what we'll do is we'll choose big N bigger than 2 over epsilon. We'll go ahead and do that in the proof. And using this strategy, everything should work out. Okay, let's go ahead and write the formal proof. By the way, the reason we can do this, it's called the Archimedean, Archimedean property. Okay. All right, so we'll start the proof by letting epsilon be greater than zero. Now, by the Archimedean property, we can choose a natural number bigger than 2 over epsilon. Then, for all little n and little m, bigger than capital N, we're going to look at the difference between 1 over n and 1 over m. Well, this is less than or equal to 1 over n plus 1 over m. Skipping some steps here, right? We, we did it over here, so it's pretty clear. Now, <clears throat> little n is bigger than big N, right? So little n is bigger than big N. So 1 over big N is bigger than 1 over little n. In other words, 1 over little n is less than 1 over big N. So this is less than 1 over big N plus 1 over big N. Right? The same is true for little m because it's bigger than big N. And then we know that big N is bigger than 2 over epsilon. So if you, if you, if you work with this, you could divide by N, divide by this, you would get epsilon over 2 is bigger than 1 over n. In other words, 1 over n is less than epsilon over 2. So this is less than epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2, and that's equal to epsilon. And that completes the proof, right? So given any epsilon greater than 0, we use the Archimedean property to choose a natural number n that's bigger than 2 over epsilon, such that for all little n and all little m bigger than capital N, the distance between 1 over n and 1 over m can be made infinitely small. So that's how you prove that 1 over n is a Cauchy sequence. I hope that made sense.